Okay, this guy here today. This is the, uh, this hive is my most prolific. And what I'm gonna do last week when I was in here, I'm getting ready to smoke them right now. When I was in here last week, they, uh, they were really building a lot of comb out and I wanna make sure that they're able to continue to build in that comb, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop them open and I'm pretty sure if I can get this stuff to burn here. I can't smoke them if I can't. If I can't get a flame, I can't get, you know, can't get a lot of smoke, LOL. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna smoke this hive and once I've got it good and smoked, I'm gonna take that top box off and we're gonna work from there. I'm gonna put another, I've got that 10 frame that you see on the next box over. It's what I'm planning on using right here just to go ahead and, and put that in there and uh, put some more, I have to put some more, uh, <laughs> some more straw in my smoker here. You got no straw, you ain't get no smoke. You got a little smoke. And it doesn't take much. And I've I, I fooled myself before thinking, well, I can't see the smoke. You don't actually have to. Um, you just gotta know it's there. It covers the, uh, covers the smell, the pheromones. There's earwigs all over here. Let's knock them out. Don't need them. You got them, but you don't need them. All right, let's see here. And okay, that looks okay. Got some earwigs down there. We'll go ahead and kill them. I don't like them. They ain't hurt nothing. They don't make me like them. And if they're not bees, I don't like them. Yes, I discriminate. I like bees. We got a granddaddy long legs up here. I don't know what he's doing. I'm trying to get. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. Good, good. Let's put some smoke on and see what we got here. Come on now. Just can't keep it smoking this morning. It doesn't have to be, like I said, it doesn't have to be a lot of smoke. You know, I ain't trying to choke them out or nothing. Just a little bit to push them down in the bottom. That's all I'm looking for. Now let's take a look and see how they're doing on these new frames. This hive doesn't seem like it's got as many bees in it. I am wondering if they swarmed on me and they very well might have now. They'll do that in a heartbeat. Last week when I came in here, there was bees all in here and now there's not. Okay, you see them on the bottom of the box there, but not the same. Okay, let's see what the girls are doing here. All right, girls. Everybody inside. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna put on my gloves <coughs> because I can simply work faster when I'm not worried about them stinging me. And yes, I'm a sissy. I don't care <coughs> to get stung. I never have liked being stung. Don't figure I'm gonna start liking it anytime soon. Now, having said that, it's part of the game. If you're gonna do this, eventually they'll sting you. They can actually sting. If I give them a chance to sit and, and push, they'll push a stinger through these gloves. These are, are goat skin gloves. And uh, they'll just push a stinger straight on through. They don't, they don't care. Let's see, I'm gonna break this box up. And now, I went into this box, we did a deep dive on this girl, oh, about a week ago. So, 
let's continue looking and seeing what we got here now see this frame and there's no activity on it this is the 10 frame i was hoping i'd have some activity here but i don't okay now i don't have no activity on it all right i may let's see here what am i doing here think 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 all right there's a high beetle i always know what i'm gonna do with them if i get a chance kill every one of them i can High beetles are bad news. They're never good news. Got both of them, got three of them. Jack, you never see all of them. And you won't see them for long either. They, they pop and hit the ground and they take off. I was hoping that they were working this frame, but they're not. Uh, the bees aren't. Now this is the number one frame. They don't work the number one frame a lot of times, okay? Now, what I'm looking at now, right here, is, this is the number two frame. It's really not working it either. We got more high beetles. Okay. Not good. Getting rid of the high beetles. All I do is gently tap it. If they're exposed, they fall off. They typically fall on their backs, which gives me just a second, not long, just a second to kill them before they can recover and flip over. And, and fly away. They will fly away in a hurry. Those little guys hit the ground knowing nobody likes them. There's a bunch of them on this guy. Got him too. Er, er, er. And yes, this aggravates the bees, okay? But there ain't nothing on here to protect. There's three or four hive beetles right there. These guys will all fly back to the hive. Don't worry about them. These, killing these hive beetles is what's important here. couple of them that time. The bees will just fly back to the hive, okay? I'm not concerned. They're not going to get out here and get lost or anything. Matter of fact, do that, just shake them off, and they'll go someplace else. That clears the hive beetles up where I can see them. Once I can get them in the open, you know, there was, uh, there was 10, 10 beetles on that one frame right there. I don't like that at all. That means they're, they're reproducing too much, see? You got too much, uh, too much time on the hands. You need to be killing them. And there's not a uh, effective treatment for them. You, you hear people They'll talk about how they got the uh, the beetle buster boards and all that. Now those are nice, okay. But I ain't, that's a hundred dollars worth of you know stuff. I'm like that's a lot of money, okay. That's a lot of money, homie. Well, this is the third frame with nothing in it, leading me to believe they may actually have swarmed this hive. 
they were the they were the biggest hive that I had last week. I got a bunch of beetles on this one too. I know y'all didn't come to watch this, that's for sure. This is uh, <clears throat> this is just standard hive maintenance. It's just going through and making sure what you're what you're doing is what needs to be done. And uh, what I do with these 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 if they're not going to use them is I will take these and uh, make uh, I melt the wax out of them and start them over again. Like I said, it's, it's, they were in these last week. They were all over these these cones right here. And there's still a lot of bees in here. That's what's getting me. There are a ton of bees in here. Maybe I need to put on a second large super or something and let them start reworking. Now, this is a brood frame right here. <coughs> okay, see all that? That's all brood right there. That's a... All right, let's see what I got here. Is this a queen cell? That might be a queen cell right there in the middle. Yeah, they're making a queen cell right there. They're requeening. That may be what the issue is. Here's a queen cell down here on the bottom, right here. That's a queen cell. So, if I could find the queen right now, I could make a nuck out of her. And what that means is I would take her and I would put her in a box all by her lonesome and I would move her in two or three frames of brood and I would make a new hive out of it. I got those over yonder established and ready for just such an event as that, okay? Let's see what we got here. More brood, that's a good thing, all right? More brood. I'm looking, I'm not, not seeing a queen in here anywhere. Oh, back. Oh, Lord help me. Let's see if I can take some pressure off my back here and look around some. I don't know what you can and can't see up there. I'm looking for the queen. This is a brood frame, so, I mean, that's where, that's where I'm gonna be typically finding her is on the brood frame, so, you know. Uh, but she's liable to be anywhere in a hive. The queen doesn't have a place the whole hive belongs to her she's got a right to be anywhere she wants to be and bless god she will be there too you can bet on that there's another another queen cell right here this this hive is starting to swarm now that's what that is and so if i can find her the reason that i want to find her is because if if i can get her and pull her out and put her in another another hive mm -hmm. she will think that she swarmed okay and then i get to keep this hive moving because they'll requeen it and then i get to start another hive from them having quote unquote swarmed out but if i can catch them before they swarm see then i get to i get to get, to get both ends they get to have a swarm and i get to have a new hive I'm looking for that queen again. All right, let's see what we got here. I used to put all my hives up on double bricks and I started putting them on one brick because when you start lifting these rascals, they get heavy, okay? And they, they hurt your old back, you know, when you get old like this. Okay, look over there. There's more queen cells right there all over the place. They're either requeening or else they're going to have swarm after swarm after swarm. And what that will, that's one of the worst things that we can do is have, you know, competing swarms. Because what it'll do is half the hive will go 
the next queen when she when she'll take half with her again now all these queens when they're born out if they're born out at the same time they'll go mate and then they'll come in here they'll find one another and kill each other that is optimum for us if they do that okay now I got nursery bees and all this stuff oh me I wish I could find the queen that would make this task a whole lot easier see if I if I make us if I split the hive and I miss her she'll swarm anyways you see so that's not that's not fruitful what I want to do is split the hive and move her with the split then she thinks she swarmed if I do it the other way she don't think nothing she just swarms you know even if I take and put her in a new hive she'll swarm from it all right got no queen here I got some young brood though I say I got no queen. It doesn't mean she's not here. It just means I didn't see her. There are more queen cells there. There's queen cells off to beat the band here. I don't know what's going on here. But these guys, they are wanting a new queen. That is for sure. And they're going to get one, it looks like. Now, I've got 10 days to find her. If I can find her and, and pull her out with all these swarm cells in here, then I'll be able to, to uh, make this all work out. It'll be perfect. But if I don't find her, then they're doomed to swarm. And doom ain't, ain't nothing to a honeybee. They swarm, that's what they do. I'll be doomed to lose the hive. Yeah, they got all that stuff glued in there. So I get some more smoke going. I gotta get that. I have to cover that camera. If I don't, the uh, it, it'll it'll time out for heat. So forgive me for a second while I try and get this cover back up again. Okay, we're back on. I hope that holds. I'm gonna start getting my little old buggy cart out here and working with this. Um, what do we got here? Once again, here we go. Lots of lots of activity. There's still I don't see any queen cells here. They got brood. I got young brood. If I could find Elsie, this would be a great time to snatch her. I could stick her in this box right here with a couple of extra frames. Mm, mercy, forgive me, Lord. Oh. And be just Johnny on the spot. She's not marked, and that I highly recommend marked queens. It costs about four dollars for somebody else to mark your queen for you. But man, are they easy to see when they're marked. They're the only bee with a doggone, you know, dot on their back. And they mark them when they're born, so, you know, the first time they see them, they mark them, so. All right, let's see what we got here. They have locked these boxes in, I'll tell you that now. Alright, Winnie, where are you at? I mean, I know she's in here because, man, she's laying some eggs. But I got more queen cells over here, too. And see, this is a I can't remember if it's the second or third year hive. The second year hive will swarm itself to death. You've got to really watch over them or they'll just swarm themselves out. 
one after the other until there's nothing left. And they'll, they'll create a lot of hives out there, but it'll, it'll be traumatic for the, 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 the hive that they're coming from. Will, you know, it'll just peter out and die. Eventually, it just won't have enough, uh, won't have enough bees in it to, to sustain it. So I'm still, it's, I'm looking for the queen. There's no, there's definitely nothing exciting about looking for the queen. There's nothing that's going to hold your attention. If I could spot her and point her out, that'd be cool. Okay, for a second or two. And so I apologize that this isn't, you know, um, you know, it ain't MTV, that's for sure, right? Back in the day when MTV actually did videos and stuff, you know. I don't know what they do now.